everybody, thanks for coming by the channel. This is a brand new channel. Today, what we're doing is we are doing this all for the gram. I got my son, Seth, my homie. Hey guys. And we are downtown Winnipeg at The Gathering Place, also known as The Forks. And we are gramming up his grid. So let's, uh, let's get to this and check it out. <laughs> Some tips in taking pictures for the gram, in my opinion, when I'm, what I'm doing when I'm looking to get a good shot is finding a good location, something with some definition in the background, like for example, the Canadian Human Rights Museum. So having that as a background shot gives a little bit of definition, even if you blur out the background and then you have in the foreground your, uh, your subject, it just it makes for nice pictures. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, go and scope out for some new locations and see what we can find and we're just kind of on this exploring mission to uh, do it for the gram. No, okay, uh, so we are walking back but what we were just doing, uh, I was playing around with the shutter speed and the exposure levels. What I was doing was making the shutter to be open for a long time and then I was closing the shutter uh, so that it was letting a very little bit of light in because when you open up the shutter a lot of light and a lot of the picture will be kind of coming at the camera uh, into the lens. I'm not explaining this well but anyway so by opening up the shutter speed a lot of light goes in closing the uh, shutter itself is going to let very little light in so kind of counteracts each other and it's going to give this effect of so long as your person that you're photographing 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 uh, so long as the person that you're taking a picture of stays totally still everything in the background is going to be moving so it makes for a cool effect like what we just see here All right, so here we are back in the truck. We are going to be heading into the exchange, a different part of Winnipeg. Great for getting some back alley shots, old buildings in there, so it's kind of a unique location to go to. But uh, we had some fun at the Forks here. A lot of these pictures that I took are totally washed out, but we are going to touch them up in uh, Lightroom. So I'll be uh, doing a little tutorial on that here shortly. So. Uh, stick around and we will see you All right, so we are downtown now uh, Walking through the exchange. There are quite a few locations that we can use uh, We found this really neat parking lot. It's kind of in a back alley it doesn't smell that great kind of like the uh, Public washroom almost but it doesn't say washroom anywhere on it but uh, anyways, we are gonna do some cool levitation shots that uh, I learned how to do that from my buddy on YouTube, uh, Peter McKinnon. So thanks for the pro tips. We are gonna go and try it out and see what it's like. So let's see what we can do. Ah! I can get up on here. Yeah, and you're gonna break it. I know. Bring your truck over here somewhere. No. I can totally do that. <laughs> so Seth thinks he can uh, get up on that, so... <laughs> no, he can't do it. No. Alright, so...
Okay, so it's raining now. Uh, we just got the levitation shot in the middle of a road. I think it's uh, gonna turn out pretty good. Uh, we are gonna go up to the parking lot over there and take some cool shots with the buildings in the background. So let's go do this. Uh, up the stairs all the way to the top of the parkade. So. For business. Leaving us here. Yeah, sure. This is great. <laughs> Should we jump off? No. I don't know, is being bad. Alright, so we are done the shoot. We are gonna head all down these stairs, go into Lightroom, and edit them up. So they're ready for the gram. Hope you enjoyed the video. Click down here and subscribe, help me out. I have no subscribers, zero, none at this moment in time. So I'd appreciate a follow, a subscribe, and a thumbs up. So thanks for coming by and we'll see you on the next video.